let's begin. Stand up nice and tall. You'll need your chair for extra support and balance. Let's first begin by working our calves, the lower part of our legs. What I want you to do is hook one leg and go lift and lower, lift and lower. This is firming the back of your calves. That's it. To give nice shape to the legs. Lift and lower. Think about keeping your back straight, your tummy in. Good. You just need to do a couple of these, and they really work to reshape the look of your legs. You do want to have some nice balance to your legs. More muscle on the bottom gives your upper thighs a little more shape. It makes them look a little thinner. We're into that, right? Two more. One. And two. Switch legs. The other leg. about the beautiful way you're going to make your leg look. Elongate that long dancer's line. Your back is straight. You have good posture right now. That's it. Lift and lower. Working on those calf muscles. Give shape to your whole leg. That's it. A couple more. Go all the way up on the ball of your foot. All the way up. Beautiful. Last Okay, relax. Ready? Take it back. In. Back. In. Now we're working the back of our leg. Pretend you're right there in ballet. Work back right there. Targeting the back of your thighs. Good. You know those ballerinas have beautiful legs. Stretch and tighten up the buttock muscles too. This firms the back of your thighs. That's it. Target tone. Those nice looking legs, you look good from behind. That's it, look good in your jeans. Great. A couple more. Push. Push. That's it. Great. Last one. Hold it in an air best now. Hold. 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 That's it. Bend the knee you're standing on for support of your spine and hold it. Hold. Balance yourself. Beautiful. You did. Bring your leg up. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Up and down. Strengthening the front of your thigh. That's right. This is the area that I really started to notice. And I'm hitting 40 now. Above the knee areas where a lot of us start to sag. Some of you might understand what I mean. Flabby knees that go over the kneecap. Well, this one exercise really does help. Helps to lift it back up, keep it firm and toned. So nothing say. One of my anti-aging exercises. <laughs> I've been really working on those areas of the body that really start to take shape as we grow older. They start to sag. So with muscle, you could really help redefine those muscles and really help shape up those areas. Last one. Come on. Oh, the killer. Good. Let's switch sides with your chair. Hopefully yours isn't too heavy. Okay. Let's begin with the back of your thighs. Your body is upright. It's push. It's release. Push. It's release. Push. We're now targeting the back of your thighs. You're trying to also keep your hips straight and your back is straight and your tummy's in and your rear end is squeezing. That's it. Good. Think about all what you can to have best technique. That's the goal. The perfect alignment. That way, every exercise is well worth it. You're really targeting. You're re-sculpting the shape of your thigh. Good. A couple more. Last one. And hold it up there. Hold it up. Beautiful. Long leg. Forward, work in the front of your thigh. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Beautiful. Feel your back in the days that you took that way. Think about really keeping your stomach in. 
never shook that way like I did. You had to tighten up your tummy, keep your back straight. Perfect. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. Think about keeping your back real straight, because that's the key to this. It also helps with your lower tummy. It's one exercise. Good. Couple more. Bend your knees slightly. That's it. Last one. Beautiful. And just relax. Stretch out your legs. Stretch out. Feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Feel it. Good. And up on your tippy toes. Up high on your toes. Good. And down. Lift up on your toes. And down. No more calf exercises. Hold it up there. Beautiful. Okay, let's stretch out the front of your thigh, the quadriceps. That's it. Balance yourself if you can. Hold your body upright and stretch. Stretch the muscles. Stretching is really important to prevent injuries and soreness. If you're ever sore from exercise, just stretch, and that will help keep the blood circulating to all the parts to help relax it and get rid of that built of lactic acid. That's it. Hold it and relax. And the other leg, pull your heel towards your buttocks. Your stomach is in. Try to keep that heel close to your buttocks and your knees close to each other. That's it. Try to balance yourself. Beautiful. You're doing great. So good you're exercising. You will feel the difference, I promise. It takes about three weeks for your body to start to really see the results and feel a difference. So don't get discouraged. It will come. Okay, relax. Let me stretch out your calf muscles now since we use the calves today a lot. You're trying to press the heel down and keep your body upright. Calves are so important to stretch. You know why? Because if your calf muscles stay flexible, you won't tear a muscle in the ankle area or also keep your knees healthy. And if you are prone to shin splints, it prevents shin splints by just stretching your calves like this. Okay, switch legs, stretch your calf, just stretch it out way back there, perfect, that's it, gorgeous, and now just come and have a seat on your chair, relax, can you believe I'm telling you to relax, <laughs> okay, bring your knee to your chest, hold your body upright, and leg out straight, straighten out your leg, Abdominal muscles are in. Your back is lifted up. Do a little yoga, meditation here with some deep breathing. Beautiful. And let's switch legs. The other leg comes up. Knee to your chest first. If you ever have back pain and you're there at the office or you're sitting for long periods of time, this is a good exercise to do. Hold your body upright. There are 20 different exercises that you could do sitting right in a chair. So there's no excuses, honestly. They're all in my jumpstart book. If anyone would like to see them, they're easy. Okay, stretch your leg. Up, 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 up. Hold it up. Your back is straight. If your leg is shaking, that's okay. You did something for yourself. It's proof that you worked out. And relax. And now let's do the neck relaxation. Sit nice and tall and stretch your neck. And to the other side. Oh, that feels so good. Stretching reduces that neck tension. No more knots in the neck. That's it. Relax. Good. Give yourself a big hand. I'm so proud you joined me.